Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna. I make videos about journaling supplies because life is a journey and these are a lot of the things that I take with me along the way. So I was able to score two new planner covers. I had no intention of purchasing new covers. I wasn't on a no spend or anything, but I have a nice collection. Um, but now that I have added these two, I think I am going to uh, thin my herd and probably destash a few um, that are just sitting uh, really unused. Um, so anyway, so how I got these two, uh, Adventure Denali had put up this Giglio, um on her Instagram and it was, I was in the right place, right time. I snagged it right away. And then maybe a few days or a week later, Allie Brown was de-stashing a bunch of covers and I grabbed this um, Chic Sparrow. And yeah, you know what? I will, all right, we'll talk about the Gilio uh, second because I don't have this one set up because this one came in obviously after uh, Adventure Denali's um, cover came in and I was away. So I actually just got this on Monday and I haven't put anything in it yet, but holy smokes, this leather is so gorgeous. And I must have missed out on this. I started in the journaling community probably around maybe 2015, 2016, I started buying from Chic Sparrow about that time. So I don't know if this was maybe just before that. If anybody knows the history of this a little bit more, let me know. Allie called it, I think she called it the Time Traveler. Um, she was kind of vague on the details and I really didn't care because the leather was just so beautiful. It actually reminds me of the um, mountains in Arizona. It, the mountain ranges can take on various um, characteristics depending on the, you know, uh, the day and where the light is during, where the sun is during the day and how it hits it. And it just reminds me a lot of that. My family lives in Arizona, so um, I do get to go back there and visit from time to time. So uh, this is the inside of it. And I don't know, is this a waypoint leather? Like I said, I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. I love the waypoint. I love the rugged aesthetic of that leather. And this is like super floppy. And it still has a little bit of um, smell, but yeah, so this was beautiful. And she sent this postcard along with it. And sorry, my nose is itching. <clears throat> it's fall and it's a whole new allergy season here in the Northeast. So I will set that up when I get a chance. And so this is the Giglio Ferenzi Apunto. I hope I didn't, yeah, I think that's correct pronunciation. I was not in the market for a Giglio. I have seen them out there. I um, saw when Adventure Denali had uh, posted this video, I don't know, I guess maybe last year or something. And I love the olive color. I'm just a fan of green in general. In case you haven't noticed my Instagram feed, it I just, it's where, I don't know, I tend to gravitate to warmer, earthy colors. So, um, yeah, so she put this up and I grabbed it, got it a few days later. And so let's let's do the flip. Um, I will tell you first, this leather is, it's very soft. It's soft in the hand. It's more floppy than 
and some of my Chic Sparrow <clears throat> covers. Let's just grab a few. You know what? I'll do that in a separate video. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do comparison now because this video will be, be, be like 30 minutes. Um, so on the front though, I had this Ollie clip, and it's just the plain. It's the plain beige like this, which is fine if you just like beige, and I usually do. But it just felt like it needed something. So I put a little sticker on it, one of those thin little um, flake stickers. And it just, yeah, it just sort of like jazzed it up just enough. So, okay, so let's appreciate the snap because this is, this is like the perfect snap system. <laughs> You know, sometimes you get um, something, something with the snap where it, um, you know, the closure is just, you know, not defective, but they're not all, they're not all created the same, but this is a good one. And they got that satisfying. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that because somebody's going to get mad. So... This is the setup on the inside, and I usually don't use card slots um, for anything but maybe like washi and um, some page markers, but the inside of this was so cute, I wanted to fill, I don't know, I just filled it all up. So this is just a hotel uh, key card with some washi on it. Um, these are just some botanical um, flake stickers and just some other um, flakes, you know, thin stickers so that I'm never without. <laughs> and some coffee stickers. This is like that wide roll washi, but you can fold it flat. So I tucked that some in there. Um, these are um, trackers, but I just use them as uh, page tabs if I'm reading a book and I need to tab a page and I don't have post-its or something on me, I use those. And this is a like fake Ollie clip. You know, it's a page um, marker, but it doesn't have the, the magnet strength of the Ollie clip, but it still, it still holds quite a few pages. So that's nice and I love it because it's the desert backdrop where my family is and um, this little paper clip it says love and this is my first time in the cafe Nanami uh, notes I've always just had a6s in Hobonichi I just I don't know I don't know why I didn't purchase um, these before, but this is the new Tomoe River paper, not the old Tomoe River paper. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but the thing I do appreciate about this is you have two opportunities to decorate your cover. So you have um, the dust cover here, and you also have this um, like burgundy um, cover on the inside, which I haven't done yet. And don't know if I will, but it's not a priority. Um, so I just decorated the front with some chipmunks because if you haven't seen my chipmunk on Instagram, you're missing out. What are you doing? She's a doll and I have tamed her and I just love her so much. She makes me happy. I'm losing my voice. Let me take a sip. So I have lots of stickers on the inside cover, some faith-related stuff, and it was just the Feast of St. Michael. Um, some uh, tile washi because it just reminds me of my family in Arizona. Arizona goat yoga because I didn't want to do it. I went kicking and screaming, and I had the best time. It was so silly and so fun and just, you know, you gotta, you gotta be silly. You have to do silly things sometimes. And yeah, so that's sort of like a reminder to me to, you know, not be so serious all the time. And 
just some inside pages. And I just set up a monthly overview calendar because I had gotten this halfway through September. So I didn't set up weeklies or dailies like I have in my weeks, which I have been in for four years. So I don't know, this is a really hard habit to break. Um, but I'm going to try. And I do like having this additional space for collaging. Usually I do this in a separate um, journal altogether. But I don't know. I was I took this with me. We were away for a couple of days. Um, we went north to, you know, go see leaves changing and fall festivals and all of that. So I just, um, you know, I took the opportunity to just use the pages um, while I was away. So, and these are some pretty dashboards I got from Thriving Mystic Mama. And the only thing is, and it's, it's this um, vellum paper. This one's a little too opaque. The thin vellum that I have that I really like, I just got a new printer and it doesn't go through the feed and it's driving me bonkers. So I have to figure out how to do that. It's an Epson printer and ugh, I just want to, it's very frustrating. So, um, but I love these full dashboards. They're so pretty. And this poem. I was having a very hard time letting go of summer because it's my favorite season. It's when my family comes to visit from, um, from Arizona, all of my friends from are, are off from work, you know, um, they're teachers and I, I just, it's just my favorite season. And there's so much to do here in the summertime because I'm a few minutes from the beach. Um, just journaled a bit. I have another flip so you can go uh, look at that <clears throat> if you want. Gratitude, my chipmunk adventures. And spending time up north with some friends. And that's it. And the only thing I will um, say about this, oh, I do have more stickers back here. There's a little pocket. I have, what do we have in here? Some paper clips and another sticker. And I did lose the stamp. I saved the stamp that was on the envelope that um, the package came in with this and I thought I put it in my pile of ephemera right over there in my tray and I can't find it and it's driving me nuts. All right, anyway, back on track. Here's the one gripe I have about this Gilio. It only fits the most slender pens. It does have like an elastic backing to it, but there's not a lot of give on it and I feel like if you I, I tried all kinds of pens in here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I can't get this Caveco in here <clears throat> any further than the barrel, um, the barrel top. And I don't want to keep working it because I don't want to separate um, the elastic stitching. I feel like I'm going to damage that so I don't want to. I tried all my other pens like this is a uni jet stream can't get it in a sarasa doesn't work uh, jelly pens obviously they're slim so they're gonna they're going to fit um, the microns. You can get in. Those are thin also. Um, what else? What else? Well, you get the point. This happens to be my favorite pen that I've been using almost exclusively for the past two months. Uh, this is the Diplomat Traveler. I love it. And luckily, it's slim, and it fits in there perfectly. And, yeah. And then everything's all nice and tidy and snapped up inside so it's a beautiful cover is it worth the price i can't tell you because i didn't pay those kind of prices so i'm looking at it from a different perspective but i love things that have character and have already had a journey to them i i 
I have no problem with pre-loved items. And I'm, I was very happy to get my hands on this one. Um, you know, they've already told stories. You know, somebody had it before Adventure Denali, and then she had it in the desert with her. And now it's here on the Atlantic Ocean, um, off the coast here. And it actually will find its way back to Arizona at some point, because my family lives in a different part of Arizona. And... Yeah, so it will travel back there at some point. But, so that's it. That's uh, what I have, what's new. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. And I will speak to you all soon. I hope. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Hang around, come back. And maybe I'll see you again. Take care. Bye.